We kick off the iCloud training at iRock My Mac with an introduction to what cloud computing is and then what Apple's version of cloud computing is, which is called iCloud. So to do this, I thought I would just go to Google and type in definition of cloud computing and you can see right here that it defines it as the practice of using a network of remote servers hosted on the internet to store, manage, and process data rather than a local server. So maybe the easiest way to understand what this means is just to look at a simple diagram of how the Mac has evolved from being the central server itself to iCloud kind of taking over that role. So when the personal computer or the Mac was invented, let's say 25 or 30 years ago, the Mac was the central server. All of your data, everything you did, you did on your Mac or you did on a computer. And you also had the ability to have what's called an external hard drive when your central computer ran out of space. So if there were things you wanted to store externally to your computer, then you can move those to an external drive and get them onto and off of your Mac. Well, then about 10 or 12 years ago, Apple introduced the iPod. And so the iPod added another way for you to take music that was previously only on your Mac move it onto a device that you could take with you that was much more portable. But still the Mac was the center of everything. Everything kind of still synced through that Mac to and from that iPod. Then about four or five years ago the iPhone came out. Now you've got additional capabilities beyond just music but still the Mac is the central point that everything syncs through and then of course a couple of years ago the iPad was added to this. So up until the introduction of iCloud the Mac really served as the central point through which you synced all of these devices and that primarily happened through iTunes and that's why there's three thick videos in the iTunes training at iRock My Mac with syncing because there's a lot to this process. So what Apple has effectively done with iCloud if you think about that definition of cloud computing is the Mac has become or is starting to become another device that's part of your personal network and iCloud is going to be what sits in the middle through which everything syncs. Now it's not exactly to that point right now. This diagram could probably be a what's in the future and what's currently here for some things but that's the basic concept of iCloud is that your music, your pictures, your media, your contacts, your email all those different things that you deal with day to day instead of those all residing on your Mac and then being synced out to all of your different devices those will live if you will in the cloud along with services that are used to sync those out in between your devices and your Mac and then you have the ability sometimes to open something or what's called stream something so stream a song for example from the cloud to a Mac uh, and that way you're listening to it really over the internet or you can download information or files or pictures or music from the cloud to that individual device or Mac. So that's the basic concept of what the cloud is, what cloud computing is, and what iCloud is. So now that we've covered that, the next video we're going to get into how you start to set up and enable all this because just like with everything else with Apple, yes there's some great features here and, and, and I love all this stuff but there's a lot of things you've got to know how to do, a lot of things you've got to set up and a lot of little quirks and a lot of little things that you want to be aware of. So that's what we start with in the next video is just how to set all of this up and enable iCloud on all the devices and Macs on which you want to enable it.